So this is the second trek of my hike. This is October. Um, it's either the first or the second Monday. I had to uh, go off the trail for a few days due to a leg injury. And uh, shout out to Tim Jarvis for bringing me back up here. Nice three or four hour drive this morning. And as now about 1035 actually today is October the 3rd so uh, we're started now I'm headed down uh, 6101 at about the between the 1706 and the 1724 trail miles in the guidebook so uh, I'll update with pictures and video soon I pretty much lucked out. I am still on the six mile red walk from the top of Peters Mountain down, but uh, I lucked out because um, the Forest Service is here grading the road. And although up until where it turned to go to uh, one of the camps to the right, up until there the gravel was really loose. But now that I'm where they've graded, the gravel is really compacted. That makes walking a lot easier. So uh, that's kind of what I mean by lucked out. Hopefully this lasts the rest of this road mileage. Um, GPS miles have been 1.72. I don't have a clue what road miles are, but I'll update in a little while. Okay, so this is the um, second gravel road after you cross the creeks around the 25 mile mark or so. Um, and I'm trucking down this road and just happened to stop for a second to catch my breath because this is uphill. And then I noticed this. And I'll be honest with you, had I not stopped, I probably would not have ever seen this. So, uh, there we go. This is kind of cool. If you can see it, you're basically walking through these massive boulders. I've uh, also got to give a shout out to the Chitali Trace Association. It seems like the blazes are much better on, on the Kentucky side. Then on the Tennessee side, I don't understand why there's a difference. Maybe Tennessee's not playing fair or nice. And not allowing the blazes. But uh, just wanted the uh, Chateau Trace Association to know that hikers like me greatly appreciate when the trails are easier to navigate speaking of blazes it seems like now I've not actually measured but it seems like now the blazes are in a fairly frequent interval and maybe even similar spacing
I've done about uh, 10 GPS miles today. I uh, didn't get here till 10:30, 11 o'clock ish. And, matter of fact, across the corner right there is another blaze. So that's two blazes just in a short period of time that I've been... <laughs> Sorry about that. Two blazes in a short period of time. Let me go ahead and shut this off because uh, it's hard to uh, walk and record at the same time. This is listed on the uh, official through hiker book as a survey marker. I can't really read it. I believe it's upside down. But I took a picture, maybe I can make it out and uh, I'll let you know in the video if I figure it out. This is uh, supposed to be a creek bed. Jackpot. That same stream, just a little bit farther down, lower elevation, had this little curve of water right here. I was able to get enough uh, water for at least uh, dinner tonight and breakfast in the morning. And then uh, a little bit left over to drink. Uh, I know that tomorrow I'm going to be close to the Cumberland River, so I'm not pushing uh, how much water I carry.
So I've got about an hour of daylight left. Um, trail miles for today, 1583, or that's GPS miles. I'm trying to get to 17. I'll just set up camp wherever I run out of daylight at. I've got uh, a liter of water to drink. I got some water in my bladder still. Uh, most of tomorrow I should be along the uh, the river, so shouldn't be any water shortages tomorrow. So I'm trying to pack light, stay fast, and. Uh, all in all though, my legs have felt pretty good today. No uh, soreness or tenderness from the uh, injury that I had last week on the trail. So now it's just trying to make up miles uh, that I missed. Um, kind of like the first day on the trail, I've ate a lot of spider webs today. Seems like you can't go more than 50 or 100 feet before you run into one. So let me get off here so I can concentrate on where I'm at and uh, keep on trucking. I guess they've got that uh, mine is sealed up, so pretty cool just out in the middle of nowhere, a mine sitting here. So this is the Cumberland Big South Fork River at Yamacraw Bridge, nearly dried up. So my buddy said, how many miles you want to get today? And I said, oh, I want to shoot for 18. And then he said, even though you're getting a late start? And I said, yeah. So how about 19.53 for the day? I'm setting up camp right here. It's next to the Cumberland River. I basically ran out of daylight. I found two trees. Just far enough apart for me to hang my hammock. And that's where we're going to do it.